And we have more now on that breaking news out of Northwest Fresno, a gas pipeline explosion. This took place near the Fresno County Peace Officer Range located near Herndon and 99. And we have video here that was sent in to us by some of our KMPH viewers. This, by the way, was sent in by Cody Rosenthal. And you can see these towering flames. Again, this took place about an hour and 20 minutes ago, around 2.30. Oh Apparently a crew was out there, an inmate crew working, hit a gas line, it blew up and then Erupt, erupted in those towering flames near the Highway 99. Highway 99 was shut down in both directions. We understand they have since opened the southbound 99. Northbound still shut down at Shaw. Camp H Fox 26 News reporter Erica Cervantes is there nearby the scene. She's been there for the last uh, half hour or more now covering this. Erica, what can you tell us? I understand the fire authorities have spoken to you about what happened. That's right, Monty. We actually just spoke with someone from the Fresno County Sheriff's Department. They gave us an update about what happened. Um, right now we're at Herndon and on Golden State Boulevard, right near the entrance to the 99. Mm -hmm. They said around 2.30, a utility worker who they believe was a contractor was using heavy equipment. They say he was digging into the ground on the far lanes of the shooting range when he struck a line, and they say that's when the explosion happened. The Sheriff's Department says that he has the worst By the way, injury. Erica, let me just tell you, as they're watching a live, uh, live picture now of the scene as you speak, please continue. Yes, and he says that he that person has the worst injuries. They believe that two others also have some pretty bad burns. They say that all three are critical, and all three were flown to different hospitals in the area, including CRMC. Now, what we can see now is we still see the big plume of smoke, but there's not very much smoke. It's not as thick as it was earlier. There's also absolutely no traffic on this area. Herndon and Golden State right here are shut down. And there's just a lot of police cars and a lot of fire trucks out here, ambulances, a lot of crews from pg and &E are also making their way into the scene. As for other people that were injured, the Sheriff's Department is still working to figure out exactly how many people were evaluated, how many people might have been taken to the hospital with minor injuries. So you're saying this is a, was a contractor crew operating heavy equipment in that area that uh, apparently ruptured the gas line? They believe that's who it was. Okay. They're still working to confirm everything. The Sheriff's Department said they're still trying to get in touch with fire, with PD, with PG&E to verify everything. But they say from what they can tell right now, it seems like a contractor was working heavy equipment and was digging when they hit the line. And then I, I imagine the injured are people who are members of that contractor crew. Yes. They said the person who was working the heavy equipment, he is the one with the worst injuries. Okay. What about the status of the fire right now? Have they made any progress in shutting down that gas line and putting out that fire yet? We know nothing about that. I called PG and &E to get an update on that, and I haven't heard back. All right, Erica. Thank you for bringing us that. <clears throat> Kim Page, Fox 26 News reporter Erica Rosales. <clears throat> Erica Cervantes on the scene. <clears throat> All right. We are again watching and following this PG&E gas line explosion out in northwest Fresno. It happened at the Fresno County Peace Officer Range near there, uh, near Herndon and 99. And you saw those flames there. We understand, as uh, Erica just reported, that, that at least three people are in critical condition after hitting that line. Uh, we, they were taken to the hospital right there, Community Regional Medical Center in downtown Fresno, where they're being treated. This is taped earlier when they were taken there. We also understand at least one person was uh, airlifted to the hospital from the scene. Again, clearly with, with very severe injuries. Again, three of those injured in critical condition at last report. Uh, remember that uh, they have opened Highway 99 now, southbound, but southbound only. Northbound is still shut down at Shaw at last report, with good reason, as you saw those flames still burning, as we understand, from that uh, ruptured gas line still burning alongside Highway 99 there. So you will want to avoid that area if you can. The northbound Highway 99 shut down at Shaw at this time. Again, uh, uh, we have our reporters on the scene and at the hospital. We are continuing to find out all the information on this and we'll bring you the latest updates as this continues to come in now now in fact uh, eric rosales kmph fox music news reporter eric rosales at the hospital is with us right now on the phone and uh, eric update us on what you're seeing there please well, Monty, I just seconds ago, I did speak with Mary Lisa. She is the spokesperson for Community Regional Medical Center. She confirms that three people were rushed here to the hospital. All three are in very critical condition at this time. One of them was airlifted by the CHP helicopter and several others were brought by ambulances. She is saying that she is hearing 
as possibly as many as 17 people injured. Now, that is still unconfirmed at this point. She says that the information is still coming in when you have something so catastrophic they're still trying to determine on how many people were injured. She says that four others were taken to St. Agnes Hospital and at least four others were rushed to Madera Hospital. So that's the very latest live from uh, downtown Fresno. Monty? Eric, this, this is pretty alarming. So we're hearing there may be many more injured than uh, the first information that we had, up to 17? That is correct. Uh, I did speak with Mary Lisa. She is the spokesperson. She says that she's still in contact with some of the other hospitals to determine exactly the number. But as of right now, she's hearing as possibly as many as 17. Again, at least three were brought here, and all three are in critical condition at this point, and they were rushed into operating rooms to be looked at. All right. Kim Page, Fox 26 News reporter Eric Rosales reporting. Thank you, Eric. And we will continue to check on this and find out what we can about those additional uh, injuries if uh, if in fact that is the case if so that would dramatically uh, increase the number of injured from uh, the initial three reported at community regional to perhaps a total of 17 as you heard at least from one source again this is a KMPH uh, news we were sending this in uh, Melody uh, Gomez Lopez you can see the flames along the highway apparently traveling that huge flames again this is reminiscent reminds us of nothing so much as the San Bruno explosion a few years ago that caused similar devastation in a neighborhood in San Bruno, again, from a ruptured gas line. We know nothing yet, by the way, of the condition of that particular gas line. We understand contractors were operating some heavy equipment in the area when that ruptured. But let's go back now to KMPH uh, Fox 26 News reporter Erica Cervantes, who is near the scene of this fire. Erica. Well, Monty, this is what's going on right now. We're at Weber Avenue and on Herndon right now. You can see that there are a lot of crews going in and out of this area. There's PG&E trucks, there's fire trucks, there's police cars, sheriff's department. They're all working this area, trying to secure it, trying to make sure nobody actually goes in there. We just had an update with the person from the sheriff's department just a few minutes ago. They said the latest they can tell us is that a utility worker who they believe is a contractor was digging and they struck a gas line. They say when he struck that gas line that's when the explosion happened it did happen at the sheriff's peace officers gun range it was in the far lanes of the range so they say that, that kind of kept some of the injuries at bay but they say there are three people who were injured that's what they think right now they said they're still trying to figure out if there are any more people who have minor injuries anyone else who might have major injuries but they say those three people were taken to the hospitals with severe burns and those hospitals once again include crmc and other hospitals mm -hmm. in our area the names of those hospitals we don't have right now we're still trying to get that information now, Erica, we also want to confirm for people the uh, gun range the reason there are not a whole lot of buildings in the area is because that is an outdoor firing range. So there is a lot of open field there. And you're saying that this took place at a far, uh, uh, far end section of the range, pretty far from any of the structures or buildings or homes in the area, correct? That's right, Monty. That's what a spokesperson for the Sheriff's Department said. He said that it is at the far end of the shooting range, and it is a shooting range that is open not just to law enforcement in Fresno and Fresno County. People from all over can come and use this gun range, but it was at the far lanes, away from structures, away from homes, which is why we aren't hearing too many reports of damage. We actually aren't hearing any reports of damage, just injuries to that crew that was injured. And as you can see, that plume of smoke is actually getting a little bit smaller. If you look out in the distance, there's some gray smoke right. coming up, but it's not even close to what you saw when we started talking here a few minutes ago. Erica, are you hearing anything more about the number of uh, people injured at this point? We got an update from Eric Rosales at the hospital saying there may be several more injured than, we, than initial reports indicated. Have you heard anything about the number? Monty, right now we're only hearing that three people were critically injured, the person who was working the heavy equipment and two other people who were near the area at the time. The Sheriff's Department says they're still working with fire, with PD, with PG&E to figure out exactly how many people might have injuries and just how bad those injuries might be. But as of right now, we just know that three people have very bad injuries. And, and as you reported, it, it, it was a heavy, injury, uh, heavy uh, equipment uh, strike on a gas pipeline that caused it to rupture, although it, it would be a good question to find out. I'm sure we'll find out in the few next few, hopefully next few minutes or hours, about the condition of that pipeline itself, how big it was and how old it was, and if that was any kind of contributor to this uh, this accident happening, that explosion. Yeah, Monty, we should find out within the next few minutes. It looks like they're getting ready to give us another update soon, and we should know exactly 
what's going on with that gas line, if it's been capped off, how the fight against the fire is doing. Um, I did call PG&E to get an update. I have not heard back from them. I'm hoping soon we'll get an update on what is going on All with right, that Erica. situation. Thanks for that update. Please keep us informed. We go now to uh, KPH Fox 26 News photographer Matt Romero, who is also there on the scene. And Matt, you were saying that uh, the fire appears now to be out? Yes, Ma yes, Monty. The, uh, about a minute or two ago, the flames started to die down. Um, as soon as they say they died down, and after that, I could not see, no longer see any sort of flames coming up from that side of the tracks. Right. And uh, now, that's something you wouldn't miss because you were watching those huge, that tower of flames, and you could see it very easily from where you were close to the scene, correct? Correct. And as soon as the flames died down, PG&E crews started converging on the scene. Uh -huh. Right now, there's about 20 to 25 PG&E employees circling this area, and they just are all scattered around that side of the area of where the explosion occurred. Well, okay, well, the, the good report here, the latest update is that apparently they seem to have the gas line turned off, so the flames are gone, the, fi the fire is down right now. Now, I understand the southbound side of uh, Highway 99. Still closed. Okay, uh, we have a live news conference going on right now. Can we listen in? Well, agency's out right here, out here right a, now. This is the um, Sheriff's Department But nothing was actually conference. being dug at the time, so it's kind of a head scratcher right now as to what caused this explosion. And pg and &E's on crew right now taking care of that line? pg and has -E been called out. Um, I know that they've been able to turn down the gas, it seems. Uh, obviously, you know, there's a bunch of different uh, roadways, so to speak, underneath the ground anytime there's gas. So I think they're trying to minimize the avenues of where it's coming out. Um, it is still emitting um, as far as I'm being told right now. Uh, Fresno fires on scene, uh, trying to tend to any fires that are breaking out at this time right now. Uh, so yeah, very chaotic. Um, but in the end, all of the, the emergency personnel in the area just came through, came together at once. Um, we do have anywhere uh, it looks like at least nine people were injured, some with injuries more than others. Um, I'm told that three of them were life flighted out to local hospitals. Um, others were taken by ground transportation. Uh, we didn't have any law enforcement personnel who were actually uh, hurt. Um, we do have some jail inmate workers. It's normal for them to be out here helping out. I understand that they received some burns. Um, the individual, the county worker who was on the tractor and was kind of right there at ground zero where the explosion happened, he got hurt the worst. Um, so, of course, he was a candidate to be flown out. Were any homes evacuated? There weren't. Uh, that was a discussion at first because uh, the, the homes right here at Herndon and Weber are so close to it. So Fresno police actually came in, did an evaluation and determined that they didn't need to evacuate. So um, as of right now, we have it pretty much isolated to our property there at the gun range. The nice thing about that is that it sits right along the San Joaquin River. Um, so there's there's not a whole lot of danger in that aspect. Um, they're able to, to isolate it and work on it from there. What about the fire? Is there the fire still going on the puma smoke has gone down yeah i understand there might still be some little spot fires obviously fire crews aren't going anywhere they're gonna they're gonna keep a handle on it but yeah initially when this thing broke out we were getting reports of flames shooting anywhere from 70 to 100 feet in the air uh dark plumes of smoke thereafter uh you can see it's dissipated the, the sky is clear so they've gotten a good handle on it um one thing i want to note is that uh, where this explosion happened was right at one of the end of the lanes of our uh, gun range and we actually had a deputy who was there right away um, a CHP officer came in they teamed up uh, to perform medical aid on the on the man who was hurt the worst so great teamwork um, you know I think the the silver lining in all of this is that it did happen in an area where we have a lot of trained professionals uh, on the scene quickly to, to render aid to those who are and Tony hurt. your deputy do they have any description of how bad these injuries are for that person uh, they're pretty bad I mean uh, you know to be be struck right there um, point-blank where it happened uh, obviously anytime your life flighted out we, we know that it must be a pretty dire situation uh, I don't have an update on him we're just calling it critical condition right now so the Fresno County road worker was just driving some kind of trailer and somehow struck a gas it was a tractor, a tractor. Um, possibly a backhoe I don't have that exact but um, this might be a dirt road that had been worked on in the past maybe backfilled with dirt um, and so he was just driving along um, to, I guess, get from point A to point B, and something uh, something caused that gas line underneath to erupt. Were they, in, 
Were the inmate workers there connected with the uh, tractor operation? No, they were just in the area. I mean, as you can imagine, if something explodes, if you're in the vicinity, you stand to be in harm's way. Um, they were just, everybody in the area was immediately notified to move north closer to the river. Obviously there's water in the river, so, you know, maybe right, to access that. Um, but just, uh, you know, they wanted to get everybody out of there as quickly as possible. Is it safe to say serious injuries? Yeah, absolutely. Talk to us for how many of the nine, like did you say, they're all critical or how many of the, what are their? No, I, I think that maybe about three are, are the worst. Um, the others just needed some sort of treatment. Um, but I, I don't have those exact figures. Uh, one other thing in all of this is, um, you know, to add on to this, is that the, the railway runs right along, right near where the explosion happened. Union Pacific runs their trains. Uh, we had to notify Union Pacific right away to halt trains because our big concern is you've got gas emitting, you got metal rail lines, a train comes through, throws a spark, now you have another explosion. Um, so you may have even experienced driving here, a train stopped blocking Shaw Avenue. Um, so it created quite a traffic mess. Uh, CHP did an excellent job jumping in. Um, they actually shut down both directions of Highway 99 initially and the, the Herndon exit um, to try and alleviate some of that traffic. Uh, they've since, to my knowledge, uh, they've They've closed off uh, northbound direction 99 still from Avenue 7 all the way down to Highway 180. Um, they did reopen southbound, but uh, the Herndon exit remains closed. No, I mean, I don't think that anybody was ever in immediate danger to that respect, because I mean, if the folks here in, uh, in you know, off the Highway City here in Herndon, if they weren't put onto an evacuation, then anybody further south of that was okay. Is there any infrastructure damage beyond the gas line? I don't know. I haven't been down there personally to evaluate that. Um, you know, we have crews out there trying to assess the situation. The, the person who was injured, you said they were a Fresno County worker or they were a subcontractor? Yeah, it appears he was a Fresno County worker who works in the roads division. Okay, got it. Yeah, road maintenance. Were there any homes in the area? No, it's it's isolated down there. The only thing there is the you got the the um, railroad, you have the river, and then you have our facility. How so. many people were injured? We're saying right now, uh, probably nine. It looks like um, that number could change. I haven't gotten the official count. Any idea how long traffic on Herndon will be blocked off here? Um, we're hoping to get this open as soon as possible. I mean, especially as we get closer to five o'clock, people need to access this to get to and from. Um, we're hoping to be able to isolate it to our property down there, you know, lock off the gate and do a further investigation and, and keep it minimized to where it is. What route are the dining taking right now? Um, I don't know. I mean, it, it's tough. And you were listening coming. to a live news co conference from Tony Body with the Fresno County Sheriff's Office. He confirmed, at least at this point, that at least nine people were injured in that gas pipeline explosion in northwest Fresno at the Fresno County Peace Officers Firing Range. It happened in a far area of the range. It's an outdoor range, not near homes or buildings, so nobody apparently had to be evacuated. Uh, the update also, however, informs us that apparently a Fresno County road worker was driving along a, a distant dirt road out there when apparently uh, it, something erupted, the, the pipeline erupted. He did not mention anything related to um, heavy equipment or digging in the area. In the next few days, the investigation will have to turn up exactly what started that, what caused it to rupture and explode, what was the condition of that gas pipeline when apparently this road worker drove over it that caused that to happen. We can confirm, however, that the fire has now been put out. The fire, the pipeline itself, the gas has been cut off. We understand it is possible that there are some small spot fires of vegetation in the area from that gas pipeline fire and explosion that they're still checking on and trying to put out. But the main uh, gas pipeline uh, fire itself, the one shooting 70 to 100 feet at the air, in the air at times, has been put out. Uh, again, nobody needed to be evacuated. Uh, we also understand that uh, some of the traffic, now there was a major traffic tie-up because of that. Uh, the, the highway was running, Highway 99, was running very close to where those huge flames were erupting. So uh, the 99 was shut down both northbound and southbound. The southbound 99 has since been opened. We haven't been confirmed yet whether or not the northbound at Shaw is still closed or has been reopened at this time. You're looking there again at a map. You see that flashing red dot. That is where this gas pipeline explosion took place. That exploding about 2.30 this afternoon. That fire now out. 
but uh, it left nine uh, injured, three, at least three in critical condition. Two of them had to be airlifted to the hospital for treatment. We are continuing to follow this story. Please send us any video or photo you might have to uh, email it to us at KMPH uh, News, or you can Facebook us uh, or Twitter us as well. Um, tweet us on this. Again, you're watching KPH Fox 26 News. We now return you to your regular program. We will have the latest for you tonight at 10 and as more information becomes available.